Joining us now, we have Dr. Bio Curry Winchell. She is an urgent care medical director and family medicine physician. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate your time and your expertise. Uh, first off, the big picture. What is the difference between paying a premium and a deductible? I mean, how often are you paying it and does the premium actually help pay the deductible? So these words are so confusing. So it's important to break it down. A deductible is what you're paying in advance. And you know, before your insurance company kicks in, a premium is often that monthly amount that you're paying to be covered. So when you think about it like that, it's easy to kind of decide what is the best plan for you. Dr. Curry Winchell, when you are signing up for the Affordable Care Act, does it make more sense to sign up for a plan that has bigger overall costs, but smaller co-pays, or the opposite, sort of like, why did the chicken cross yeah, the road, right? How I do you do the math? There. Right, exactly. Yeah. How do you do the math to figure out which plan is actually going to work better for you? So you really have to look at what is best for your financial budget for your family. So when you look at a high deductible, you have to think about, would I be able to pay that if an emergency happened? And then thinking about those low premiums, which are often really sought after, but if an emergency happens, can you pay that high deductible? So mm. those are the things to really look at as you're making those plans for your family. And what about if someone is switching from their parents' insurance to say their own personal insurance? What should they know at that point? So you really want to look at, you know, prescriptions that you're taking, physicians that you've been seeing. Can you still see those doctors or have mm. those same medications covered when you get off your, um, you know, your your plan with your parents? Because those are the things that often we want to continue. We don't want to have a disruption in that. So mm -hmm. that's something that can help you make sure that you continue with the, the health plan that you have. Yeah, so compare before switching. And finally, Dr. Curry Winchell, what is the difference between a flexible spending account and a health savings account, the FSA versus the HSA, and when do you use them? So they are both great options. However, there are some differences. So when you look at them, especially the FSA, there are some penalties or the inability to withdraw money in advance. And often you're kind of stuck in a situation where you can't really have that flexible piece. Versus, versus an HSA allows you to be able to spend money, whether it's a specialty care or prescription, you have more options. So you have to look at what are your plans for the future? If if you are expecting like a, a birth of a child or a surgery, mm -hmm. what plan would be best for you? And so mm -hmm. thinking about that in advance can be so helpful. Yeah, and I'm seeing the HSA actually rolls over year to year, yeah. which is a big difference between the FSA. All right, urgent care medical director and family medicine physician, Dr. Bio Curry Winchell, thank you so much.